beating the shit out of him. Baby producers and cameramen Mona and Mona Scott. Scott coming all down to Woodworks to grab her. She told me, no, let, me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. And then next thing we know, the camera shoots over to Stevie. He out the door done walk he down said, the road. Man, forget this. I'm yeah, down. and the left one down the road. What you saying? Forget it for he the one that done brought this mess together and, and got it happening. If, if he needed therapy sitting back on the wall and me be like, what? The what? therapist is shocked as well. Cause this he shit just No, nah, baby, this <laughs> shit just cut loose in his office and baby people start coming out of nowhere. Steve walking in the road. Baby Jocelyn, mm -mm. they tow that office up. up. Baby, yes, they did. Yes, I ain't they never did. seen so many people in a little room. Baby, because they came out of nowhere. One moment we on the camera. Like the moment that that girl punched him. They Everybody just started up. coming from everywhere. Oh, my God. It was a mess, honey. It was at that point I was like, no, this ain't fake here because the yeah. way she punched him. Baby, the way she reacted to that. Oh, honey. That was a natural reaction there. Baby, yes, it was. Who yes, she was. beat the mess out there? She, she beat his as I was yeah, like, oh I'm my like, goodness. Kind of like, dang, you fight him like a dude. Like he a don't dude. ran outdoors and walked down the road and like he was gone. Yeah. yeah. He didn't think he was finna go down like that, baby. He, he actually thought he was gonna get them to agree that they could be all be together. Uh Jocelyn said he just told me that was his baby mama and that was it. Mm -hmm. And when then Stevie was together, like, well, 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 no. And she said, no, that's all you told me, that, 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 she, that Mimi was your baby mom. And that was it. She said he got four of them. So she just so another she one on the roster. Another baby mom. And, that, and Mimi took offense to that. But I'm like, dang, Mimi, for real. You are number four. Or what, for five? Was she number five? I don't know. Was she at the beginning of the baby mamas? Or is she in the middle? Or is she at the end? She at the end. So she the last baby mama? Yeah. She mm -hmm. last baby mama. Mm -hmm. And the bonus footage, they didn't show anything else with therapy, but they showed with Jocelyn and uh, Stevie was in the studio. Yeah. yeah, yeah, when he was telling her about let's go to the therapy. therapy together. And mm -hmm. she said, did you forget that, that I, was I was pregnant, pregnant with, with your baby? baby? Why you trying to come at me like this? Yeah, he come on, no, I didn't forget. No, I didn't forget. Shut the hell up, Stevie But I said to myself, why is she bringing that up, Jocelyn? I, why did she bring this? Well, I mean, she said that to say what? I she mean, she, she was saying that to say to him, like, we really were in a relationship. I think that's what she oh, meant by that. that they was really like, you should be treating me like a baby mother because I was pregnant with your baby. That's I think that's where she was coming from. Yeah. Well, honey, the way things been going, baby, Jocelyn is clearly past side piece status. She is the main chick and Mimi is the side chick. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, you sure about that? Jocelyn runs Stevie. Baby, she do. Because Mimi won't get with his ass she like won't. Jocelyn will. Mimi. Hmm. Now, Mimi got that mouth or she'll cuss him out. Yeah, she'll cuss him out and, yeah. and be motherfucker and this oh, and yeah, this bitch she, and that she, bitch. Mm -hmm. That's all she do. She'll just cuss him out and be real mad and ugly. But, I mean, after he get through listening to her to say what she got to say, but baby, Jocelyn proved that she put them paws on Baby, me. Jocelyn saved me no punk bitch. <laughs> and so the show goes off here. And so on the next episode, oh look like God. the shit is finna hit the, the fan, fan with, with the K. Michelle accusations against Memphis. And, and I've been waiting and for this to happen. And Rashida saying mm -hmm. that she don't believe K. Michelle. Oh, uh, and, 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 and Rashida tells this to Erica. You know, like the person that Kay Michelle is talking about, I'm friends Oh, yeah, with. that she good friends with. Yeah, she say that a lot of people knew. But yeah. when the money is being made, they just want you to shut the fuck up and, and get sing. the money. Mm -hmm. Like she said in the beginning. They didn't care nothing about what was going on. As long as she was singing, as long as she was making them their money, they didn't care. I just don't see why somebody would make up getting their butt beat up. Who want to get beat up? Who want to admit that? Nobody yeah, who want to admit, admit that they, they got, got beat the beat shit up. out of? I wouldn't. And then took all your money. Two million dollars. I wouldn't. I sure I sure would. I'd be like, uh, he may have pushed me. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> Baby, if my ass didn't get beat, you better rest assured. I ain't gonna be telling nobody my ass got beat. What do she gain from this? She you don't gain nothing. I mean, like they said, her image in the industry, everybody say she crazy. Yeah, so that's what she gained. 
being thought of as a nut and don't nobody want to work with her. Thank Who would want to bring that on they, themselves when they are trying to make it in nobody. the music business? But I just don't think the girl lied. I personally don't think she's lying either. I don't either. think she lied either. So, also on next week's episode, the Benzino and Carly love boat is finna hit a fucking iceberg, baby. I knew it. And it's finna sink. They start fussing, and she tells him he is always attitude. angry and got an attitude. And, and then also we see on next week's episode, Scrappy. I mean, Eric is gonna bust Scrappy on this little shit he got going on. They didn't really show a lot into what's gonna go on with that, except for he goes and runs and tells Mama, Mama. Dean. Go runs to mama, tell mama, mama deal about it. She's talking about, you gonna play this like a player. Do you know? We giving, play this all day. This ain't Giving nothing. her normal pimp, ghetto pimp craziness that is so hilarious to me. I love that song. Rolled up in a C-A-D-I-double-L, pumping A-C, A-C blowing. Oh, is that Do you want to ride? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. In the backseat of a caddy, chop it up with do with that. Yeah. So she was giving that pimpology. You know, in all these years, I never really pay attention to what they were saying. The song. To what they were saying. If they were saying Cadillac. Cadillac. Pulled up in the seat. Yeah, that's what they said, honey. Y'all know. Yeah. I got, is that the same one that's saying I got five on it or whatever? Do or die. Yeah. That must have been the loonies or something. I got five on it. I think do or die did. Uh, what was the song called? Was the group do or? Pope Pimp. Yeah. Was the group Pope Pimp or was the song called Pope Pimp? Either Cause way. you know I used to have it both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pimp. yeah pole pimping. You don't remember that song? I do. I do too. So anyway, anyway, Mama D gonna give him some most bad advice <laughs> on his life <laughs> that he don't know how to live without her. Right. But you know, Erica say the scrappy. She not even surprised that he done ran the shade cause he, he don't know how to be by himself. And I believe it. She said, it's it ain't shade, you. it's diamond, it's this girl, that girl, it's nothing new. He don't know how to be by, by himself, himself without a woman. Right. And whenever he ain't got this broad and that broad around, here go his mama being his surrogate bitch. Erica's I want her mother to come back on. Girl, filet mignon, <laughs> baby, filet mignon was wrong. I want her and mama D to sit down together. Ooh, baby, okay, cause uh, Filet Mignon say, uh, ain't no motherfucking punk. Uh, baby, she gonna let Mama D know, uh, you know what it Mama is. Mama D ain't gonna do nothing half one of her, uh, episodes. Yeah, one of her bipolar fits and so it, yeah, in that order and all that craziness. Uh, yeah. Shay is mine. Don't nobody I think that's what it is. She won't shake. For herself? Yeah, yeah. She got a nice, tight body. That was funny.